It's Monday today and on Mondays I usually do a little light food prepping. I don't go overboard and do like a lot but I like to make like one big batch of one dish that we can have for lunch throughout the whole week. And today I'm making congee. Congee for those of you who don't know is like rice porridge or rice gruel. Like you boil the rice until it disintegrates into like a gruel. And I'm making one with brown rice and lentils. With that, I'm thinking, let's try something new. I want to make like a really sour miso tamarind soup with, we have some leftover tomatoes, we have some Chinese cabbage, some shiitake, so let's just see how it goes, I have no idea. So one thing I wanted to show you guys with a food prep video is that, you know, I never cook with a recipe. I always just go with the flow and I think more people should do that too, because that way you sort of, like listen to your own taste buds and you dare to try new things. So these shiitakes, I just soak them for like um, an hour in like hot water and I'm just removing the stem because the stem is too hard to eat. Now this uh, water that the shiitake has been um, soaking in, don't throw that away, it will be a great base for our soup. I love sour food and this dish is going to be so sour because we're using ginger, lime and tamarind. Oh my gosh, look at all these ginger and garlic. It's a lot. Here's the shiitake and we're just gonna saute that in a bit of the shiitake water. So this is some tamarind that I've just soaked in hot water. So um, I'm gonna mix that in the blender. I've soaked this for maybe about two hours or so. So let's see if we can make a paste out of this. This is going to make our soup like really, really sour and a bit sweet, also a bit spicy. It's going to be delicious. The garlic and ginger and mushrooms have sauteed. So it's time to add some water and make it into like a soup or a, or a sauce. So I'm going to add some of this tamarind paste, this beautiful tamarind paste, not all of it because that would be too sour but let's just go ahead and do like quite a lot. Just adding some salt and pepper. Um, the miso will later give it a lot of flavor as well. So we don't need to like overdo it with the spices at this point. One of the most important things when you create like a very simple dish is to have the right balance of sweet, sour, with like fresh and crunchy. It's all about like different textures and different flavors in the right combination. So what we always love to do is just to have something very crunchy and fresh on top, like as topping on basically whatever we're eating. So for this dish, we're going to have raw carrots and the green onions to give like a bit of crunch, freshness, um, just to get like all the different textures and flavors in there. We're just gonna add the Chinese cabbage right at the end because I don't want all the crunchiness to be like cooked out of it. So I'm just gonna like fold it in and heat it up really quickly. few other spices that is a good idea to add is just some uh, chili flakes and we will also add some dried coriander. Let's give this a, a taste test. Oh man, that is sour. Let's see what David would think of this. So with the miso we will have a lot more saltiness to it as well. So I'm just gonna leave this for a few minutes and then add the cabbage. While we're waiting for the soup to cook, let me just show you what the congee looks like. So this is just equal parts brown rice with equal parts brown lentils that have been cooking for, I don't know, two hours, three hours probably. I know a lot of people like their congee to be much more disintegrated, much more mushy than this, but I like it when it still has a bit of chunkiness to it. So I usually leave it about this consistency, but whatever kind of consistency you want is fine. I even know people who use like a hand mixer and blend it all. Uh, Mary's Test Kitchen. Time for the cabbage to go into the pot. Whoops, this pot is going to be full. 
I made too much as usual. Come on cabbage, you can do it. I believe in you. Perfect. This is our white miso that we're using today. I'm gonna scoop up some of this water just to mix with the miso at first because the miso is quite difficult to mix if you put all of it just down into a pot and you will get like lumps of it which isn't that tasty. Okay so the cabbage had just been cooking for like a minute or two so I'm just gonna add the miso now and that will be it. And I mean if you don't have tamarind, if you can't find miso, just use whatever you have like lime instead of tamarind, you can use like some good quality organic bouillon instead of miso, that's totally fine, whatever you have at home. And here we go. I have still no idea if this is going to be any good. I have to admit that this looks a little bit less colorful than my usual cooking. And of course some green onion and our carrots. To finish off I'm going to add some nutritional yeast and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Okay, so time for the taste test. I have no idea how this will taste. Let's see. Mmm, it's actually really, really delicious. I'm gonna put some soy sauce on this, otherwise it's perfect. Thanks for meal prepping with me today. It made this whole thing a lot more fun than doing it by myself. Uh, let me know if you want to do more of these videos where I just show you how I cook without using a recipe just to try things out. And let me know if you ever tried making something without a recipe that was a huge success. I would love to hear about it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and otherwise I will see you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!